Good morning, everyone. Today we have um, the celebration of the conversion of St. Paul. Now, we all know the story of Paul. He was one of those who held a cloak while um, the um, St. Stephen, in particular, was stoned to death. And so he was very much on the side of the Romans. So one day, we know the story as it goes, he was riding along on his horse and he was thrown off the horse onto the ground. We know that because we sort of see pictures of it. But of course, in much the same way as some of the stories of uh, the nativity are a little bit exaggerated, we need to read the, the scriptures very carefully because there was no horse mentioned in the scriptures. It simply says, St. Paul was thrown to the ground. And it was a bit of artistic genius that um, put a Paul falling off a horse. But nevertheless, it was a dramatic event. And many people might sort of say, well, why did he fall down? Well, because if, if we look at many people's experience of encountering Christ, it is such a dramatic, a dramatic and a powerful experience. They are slain in the spirit. And people sometimes might exaggerate it. But they also are experiencing the Holy Spirit in such a, a powerful way that they lose control of their bodies. It's a reality that not everybody experiences, but it is true that it does happen, even in these days. So, in Mark's Gospel, chapter 16 today, Jesus says, Go out to the whole world, you who have been converted, you who have received the Holy Spirit. He who believes and is baptized, and it's through baptism that we receive the Holy Spirit, will be saved. So we've, because we are baptized, we receive the Holy Spirit in a special way. It's the beginning of our spiritual journey, as it was for Paul. And then Jesus warns also, he says, He who does not believe will be condemned. And that's a bit scary. Because we need to make sure that we are doing the will of God. And we're doing it the way he should. He wants us to. So making the sacraments, baptism, communion, reconciliation, confirmation, making them a reality, making them significant in our lives will bring us closer to Christ and help us to grow as he wants us to. You keep yourselves well. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.